Hey, guess what we're checking out. Um, it's been a while again. I don't remember how long. Probably close to a month. And, uh... All I remember is that I got the gold arrows last time. I, uh, seem to have one major, like, dungeon left. I, I mean, I'm sure there's other stuff after that, but, you know, a dungeon that has a Triforce base associated with it, at least. And, uh, we could head there, but I need to know what the hell this is. I didn't look ahead at all, other than trying to figure out like, how to reach it, because I didn't remember it's, you know, buried in a fucking dungeon. But, uh, I pointed this one out, you know, there was some random-ass thing that required the gold arrows in this dungeon, and I, I'm extremely curious what this could be. It shouldn't be too terribly far away. Of course, you know, going the wrong way was not going to help with that, but... My best guess, you going into this, since I didn't look at what this is pointing to... Um, I mean, I did when I first found it, I think, but, uh... Oh god, it's the bat robes. I should probably deal with these first. Um... My best guess... Is, uh, because of how obscure this is, there's probably something later in the game that basically gives you, like, explicit instructions to go back here. And I'm probably sequence-breaking by doing this, but don't know that for sure yet. Uh, forgot about this shit. Wait, come on, please. Okay, I think I got him. So, there's just the one left. I can maybe hope for him to appear over here. I might be best off, actually, reloading the room. Oh, wait, no? Maybe? Nope, not quite yet. Okay. I don't want to risk reloading the room. I think I could, and it would be fine, but... Let's just deal with these. Okay. So... We shoot this... Oh my god. We shoot this thing. All right, game. What do you got for me? Another Triforce piece. I am only missing... Or no, because... This could just be a part of... A section that I've already done. Because I definitely remember this area. I just don't know if it's... Yeah, what the fuck is this? Let's see. We're about to see stuff out of order. Okay. Well, this is Final Fantasy VII, right? Because this MIDI was also in MMDWR, and I'm, you know, I never played FF7, but I believe I determined that that's what this song is from. This is, uh, I have a feeling I'm heading into endgame shit. I don't quite want to turn back yet, but we'll see. Hopefully, there, if that is the case, there's some item check that I won't be able to pass. I ask this every time I play this game, but what items am I missing again? I know the mirror shield is a major one. Din's fire is somewhere because I've seen flags that require it. Um... There's something else in the top left. I'd never remember what those slots are. Well, like I said, we'll just kind of stick with this for a little bit. Um, so I guess uh, in the meantime, you know, until I run into something completely befuddling that occupies my attention, I'll, uh... Mentioned some crap that happened yesterday, so... I don't think this has been mentioned in the timeline of the Patreon videos yet, though I did talk about it in a Spyro stream, how I quit my job. At this point, it's been almost a month. Um... And, uh... I've still yet to do anything about that, because I'm awful. I'm just, you know... I always dread the process of applying and all that, and... 
I'm, a pre I'm approaching the point where uh, I really shouldn't push it any further. Like, you know, I'm, it's a bad idea to keep going with no job because I don't have any fucking money. But, uh... Anyway, you'd think that would mean that I would have more time to work on stuff, and... Yes and no? It, it, basically, it just means I'm spending more time hanging out with Autumn and Joel. Um, especially since Joel's got the, uh... Going through all the Pokemon Generations thing going, and, uh... You know, Autumn's been having to do a lot of FF14 grinding to catch up with modern gear to run the new stuff and all that. And there's a whole bunch of things there, but... The point I was going to get into was that, uh... Yesterday, I did try to record stuff. Um, it wasn't this, though. It was going to be more Isaac. I went into it with the thought that I would still probably not upload that until I recorded more of this anyway, but I figured, you know, I'm slightly in the mood to play it. Might as well record some. And, uh, ditched the recording because it just didn't go very well. But there was just kind of a series of stupid events that happened. This room is very suspicious. I don't remember what Swing Beast is. Okay. <sighs> Am I gonna regret moving forward? I can always reset. If I don't save, I don't I won't get stuck in here. But yeah. Um Anyway, there was just this stupid series of events where, like, I'm trying to think how much is this, how much of this is even worth telling, but, uh, I mentioned in a video quite a while back how I, you know, inadvertently kind of ended up in a FC, like, basically a guild in FF14, and it was because we wanted to try to run higher level content, but then we never actually did anything with it. Um, lately, the guild leader has been trying to push for more activity, and so yesterday, I, when I woke up, I Im immediately messaged Martin saying, like, do you want to do more of the multi-world today? And he said yes, and then I checked with the others, and Joel's like, I already agreed to do stuff in the FC. I don't want that to take priority over this, because that's stupid, but I have blown them off, like, three times already, and I'm like... Yeah, it's fine. Um, I kind of want to try it, too. And so it led to this thing where, like, I was recording Isaac, it wasn't going well. If I was going to redo the video, it was going to take, like, another hour at least. And we were starting, I thought, at 6. But then, like, I started having, like, this nervous breakdown because I never want to be running hard content when I'm not, like, adequately prepared, and they were acting like it was going to be this big deal, even though Joel said it wouldn't be that hard. It was fucking stupid. I I hate when I get like that. I, I, it's like, it always makes me feel like a dipshit. Um, but I have just anxiety with that type of shit. Um, so anyway, we, you know, I looked at some material for it. It seemed extremely complicated, but it's like, you know, I was trying to figure it out. I did a couple practice runs with Joel. It made me feel a little better about it. And then, you know, four hours later, we still haven't fucking done anything. And it's like, hey, we gonna run anything soon? And the guy's like, eh, I don't know about today, actually. I'm not in a good mood. It's like, Great, okay, well, I'm glad that I, you know, threw away all of my plans for the day and had a nervous breakdown for no fucking reason then. So, that was annoying. Um... <clears throat> I realized telling this story that, you know, it's, uh, there's a part of me that's like, oh, you know, woe is me with this MMO causing me stress. Oh my god, my life is so hard. It's like, I'm, I'm not trying to bitch about it. I'm just, you know, it was a stupid situation that happened. Anyway, um, this sure is just kind of a, you know, enemy rush, like a lot of this game is. I have still, you know, other than Myra's warning, I have not, uh, 
specifically run into anything that has told me I should be going back, but I am very much expecting to basically just reset the game and come back here later. <laughs> and you know, of course our main characters have very differing opinions on what's going on here, so... I'm kind of feeling like I'm on Myra's side, but... I don't know, maybe this is just a little bonus, like, Easter egg area. Maybe it's not plot-related. I saw the fucking Dr. Wily logo coming in, but, you know, I've completely lost track of what the hell is going on in the plot of this game. So... All I knew was that, you know, Dr. Wily and or Sigma and I think Sephiroth are all somehow involved in this game's plot, and I never remember, like, what we've actually seen yet versus just what I heard about ahead of time. So, we'll just see it unfold and probably be baffled when it happens, just like the scientists. I am liking this, uh, everything is solid black palette. Not sure what to make of that. It's kind of weird, because, like, normally you can't influence the colors of enemies like this, but, uh, some stuff does use, like, I'm trying to think how to explain this. Like, in the, the way that the palettes work in Zelda Classic, uh, a lot of enemies just use universal C-sets that will look the same no matter what kind of area you're in. Um, then there's some ones that are, like, level colored, basically. Um, where they do use a C-set that changes depending on the palette. Bosses are kind of weird, because they usually use, like, an extra palette that is not tied to anything else. Um, but I don't remember exactly how they work, and if you remember from some of my quests, I, I, like in Mitch, the, uh, Dodongos are, like, bright yellow and fucked up looking, and it's just... It was something to do with, like a difference in how versions read the palettes or something, because I made the quest for 190, but then generally played it at 192, and it just fucked it up for some reason. I don't know. We, uh... We getting close to something soon? I, I, I probably don't need to be killing all this shit, but, like... Ugh, I mean, there really is no but. It's just, I, I really don't need to be killing this shit. I'm just doing it anyway. What else is new? I'm always, you know, worried the game is going to drop something, but... If I stop and think about it, like, what could it possibly be at this point? It's not going to be a major item. If it was something like a heart pace... I'm already maxed out on those. The only things that are really useful to me at this point are progress items, keys, which, I mean, is a reasonable thing to expect in a dungeon, but this is like a weird side area or something, so probably no keys here. Um, money is useful. Fuck, I'm just moving on. Oh my god. Okay. Never mind, you, you fuckers are gonna die just out of principle. Also, I need to remember that I have golden arrows and those things are busted. They won't hurt all enemies, but they would at least kill, like, the baby dick doggers and stuff. Is this... Is this Belladonna-type shit here? Super bomb, huh? Okay. Well, we've finally approached something that isn't just enemies, so, alright, what do we got? No fire... Uh, that, that looks like either just a guitar or, like, a meteor falling. I'm not sure what that's supposed to indicate. Oh. Well, this is, uh, possibly the most beautiful area I've seen in the game so far. 
Alright, guys, come on. Just line up for, you know, your smacking. I don't actually remember if I have the L3 or L4 sword at this point. Hammer does the same amount of damage as the L3 sword, but... I just use it against Dark Nuts, because... the shield thing, so... Uh, also, I'm just now seeing the bubble. There's so much random chaos on the screen, it's like I'm not identifying what I'm looking at here. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's finish cleaning up the mess just so it doesn't respawn later. Bro, come on. Okay. Probably gonna try to ignore the enemies from this point on. Or maybe not, because I think I have to in order to progress here. Alright. That's how it always is. It's like, okay, I'll stop doing it. Oh, guess I have to. Well, have I used all my potions? No, I've got a full one if I need it. I knew I didn't use any in this video, but I thought I might have used this and stuff. I need to stop using the hammer so much. There's no reason to. My sword does at least as much damage as that. Uh, 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 oh, Patra 3. You were a source of memes for a while, and now you just kind of piss me off. Yeah, yeah, I see you up there. Can I just ignore this shit? Yes, okay. I am going to elect to ignore everything from this point on, if I can help it. This room is, uh, very unpleasant looking. I might be able to just bum rush this. Okay, cool, I'm glad. Uh, that's what happens when I walk into a fucking damage combo when I'm used to tanking all the hits, because it doesn't pay attention to your ring. Alright, off-screening. Alright, welcome back to, uh, Clusterfuck. I'm, once again, just gonna try to bum-rush this and hope that it works out. Okay. <laughs> Dead end in the weirdest underground area, which actually gets engulfed in flames just now. I mean... At least this room's not exploding. This new... Oh, this new feeling. <laughs> yeah, she's a little on the depressed side. Um, oh, okay. Random free heal. Uh, I mean, let's keep going, I guess. I, I see the potion, obviously, but I don't need it, so... Okay, random, uh, red outline of... I mean, it's obviously like a robot master, I can't... I can't tell if that's a boss that I can recognize. He has like a fire head, but... Alright. Random like leg. -like. Yeah, you keep mentioning that. What, is it gonna turn out that you were, like, born here? NB. Um. Again, this is... This is just, you know, me being dumb, because I have not paid attention to, jack like, fucking anything in this game. It might be obvious what these are in reference to. I'm trying to think. Um, what's the guy that keeps harassing us? It's not one of them, right? I, I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. Do a mirror robe. Oh, I can just ignore you. Okay, good. Uh, okay. Great. You seem in a strange state. Pfft. 
Yeah, I'm sure this big machine is not a problem. Being. I can escape this half situation. Do you have any instruments? In fact, I do! What? We're just taking this at face value, huh? We just drop into this, and he's like, Oh, hey, play this song. And he's like, Okay. And all right. I'm an idiot, so let's do it. Um, I'm not gonna move. I assume I'm just surrounded by warp tiles now. Yeah. Nuvo and Belladonna. Have we heard of Nuvo before? I, I don't know. I like how that's still coming back to haunt us, you know, just the random naked kid, hey, like, stuck in a machine. It's like, you know, the, the two-second moral dilemma followed by a shoop to whoop biggest shit post in the game and it's apparently a major plot point. Uh okay. I is this it? Is it just this one enemy? Well, sorry. can't know how it looks now. Okay, let's shoot this thing, probably. No. Oh, okay, hold on. I, I didn't realize they were saying stuff over there. Okay, so, hookshot, I guess. Um, sure. Hookshot and then arrow. How do they know what to do? Boomerang and then shovel. Is that this, or is that the hookshot? I honestly can't tell. Maybe it's neither. Alright, what is it? Well, I heard a flame go off. What the fuck? Um. It's not the wand. Maybe it is? That didn't look like a wand. It looked like a fucking shovel. Yeah, Death Knight. Yeah. Uh, I guess I've got the gear to tank this, sort of. Oh my god. Game. You are so full of shit. Please let me actually... Okay. Death Knights are such garbage. Who the fuck are you? Okay. Only his saw was left, tee hee. I'm just, again, this is one of those, like, I'm just staring at the face, or staring at the screen with, like, this just stupid fucking face of, like, what am I reading here? I mean, this is... This, this is the type of thing that's like, you know, this this sounds like this could have been an interesting backstory if it was for something I gave a shit about. I'll try for colonizing at Mount Death Failed.
Okay. Oh, I like the random square. I... <laughs> I I'm almost tempted to look in Z-Quest and see what the fuck the random square was, because I think that was, like, the ladder showing up for a second, but... Yeah, it's not worth the effort. Yeah, boss flag. Why is... Why is there solid in here? Like, what the hell? Okay, moving on. Oh. Um. Yes. Okay. I'm very worried that I fucked something up. Um. I'm gonna... Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's take a second here. I don't know how to really tell for sure if I've caused any, you know, massive unforeseen consequences, but before I save, I want to take a look at some shit, so... Let me, uh... Navigate to wherever the hell that room was. Yeah. Okay, so D map one oh five. Okay, level forty two. We might need to remember that for later. Um let me look at this. God, this area went on for forever. I can probably just skip most of this, but... Yeah, it sure did just go up and down a bunch of times. Alright, anyway. Um, let's see, what was, the pro what was the progress here? So, side warp. There's a tile warp here. Go through this shit. There was no heart container. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. There was no fucking heart container here. Okay. Hold on. What was the process here? Because, yeah, there was, like... Trigger ant. Oh, my God. Is this... No, that takes you back. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck this is. Hold on, because, like, I think what happened when I went through here is I went up, and then on this screen, yeah, I, like, fell into a hole. So, there's a tile warp that apparently appears on this screen eventually, with a trigger. But the tile warp just takes you back to the beginning, I think. 16 and 17. Random push blocks. What the hell? Okay, don't know why it would make those appear, but sure. Um, yeah, that just seems to be a quick warp out, right? Yeah. Okay, so... You ignore that, you go up. These are all... Stairs warps. So you are forced into the cutscene where you fall into the hole. Flags on the screen? Yes. Are you a trigger placement flag? Enemy zero. Trigger. Yeah, okay. So. I guess that makes these disappear, and then you can go up and get the heart container. So basically, what I'm understanding here is you complete all the bullshit, it, the trigger happens, and then you have to go through the bullshit a second time to get the heart container, and then quick exit out. Like, I guess that's... Fine. Um. So. What did I say this was again? It was, um. Level 42. I go through this shit. Fall in a hole. All this crap. Um, I'm looking for the kill all enemies item. It's. 
that because that'll be the thing that sets off the trigger. Go through this part. Blah blah blah. Got this. Okay, where was the random tile? Was it this screen? Twenty ladder. Yeah. What the hell? So it was a it's a timed warp. But you're surrounded by ladder combos, so you can see the ladder for like a frame. Why is it set up like that? Why is the screen even here? I'm. I guess this is the screen that gives you the item, and the previous one just shows it. All right, whatever. Um, tile warp. Here's the kill all enemies item. So yeah, this is where we activate the flag. Um, I go back a screen. I don't remember where that one was. Hold on. One oh eight. Nouveau. Forty four. So that's not the same level number. So this is actually activating something else. Unless I'm stupid. Because that's how boss flags work, is if you like, you know, this this screen here, according to the warp I took to get here is considered DMAP 108. Let me let me do it one more time just to be sure. Let me turn off these stupid zeros. Okay, you got the item, got the item, blah blah blah, tile warp to 108. Yeah. So you're picking up, yeah, you're doing a you're killing a trigger in a DMAP with a level number of 44. That shouldn't change this. Maybe there was another kill all enemies somewhere that did that. I don't know. Whatever. Like, I'm not that concerned about it. It just, it was weird. Because then there was also this shit. Kill all enemies on this screen. Oh, okay, this is the one. That's why there was this thing after the fact. Because you go into here. This was another... Oh, my brain hurts. Yeah, because you side warp into 105. Pick up the thing. Oh my god. Okay. Whatever. The reason I wanted to check all that was I wanted to make sure this wasn't going to affect something else later in the game and, like, close something off. And the only way I can really know that is to look through the list of DMAPs and check for anything with a level number of 42 or 44. And if there are any, then they have the possibility of being affected by it. I'm going to check that real quick, just in case. I'm probably being paranoid, because, you know, the fact that that gave me the armor tells me this was just an optional area, and it was like an Easter egg type of thing, but I am still suspicious of it. So, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so, uh, spoilers ahead, but uh, it turns out there is another D-map with uh, one of the level numbers that we triggered a thing for. Um... Judging from the name of this and its placement compared to some other ones, I'm guessing that uh, us doing that is probably going to impact an upcoming boss fight and uh, hopefully avoid the worst ending. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm I'm having to make guesses here because I'm not actually looking at these maps and uh, seeing how they connect to each other and all that. But uh, yeah, we're going to, you know... Hope for the best on that one, I guess. I uh, I could technically, if I really wanted to, I could make a backup of this save file and, like, you know, reset without keeping the progress that I just did. Make a backup and all that shit. I, I really shouldn't have to, but I'm paranoid. I'm going to do it, actually. I, I convinced myself halfway through that sentence. I'm like, I don't think they would be that much of a dick. But I want to be sure, so I guess I'll be back in, like, a fucking half hour after I do this again. Alright, um, there's been a lot of, uh, spinning my wheels in this video, and it's probably going to continue for a bit. So, I went through all the stuff again, I saved, um, 
you know, I copied the file first. Uh, I noticed, and many of you probably also noticed, uh, that the dialogue when I got the, like, gold ring or, you know, the armor or whatever, said that, like, you know, without this you can't survive Sigma. So, if we take that at face value, uh, combined with the boss flags and stuff, that probably means that if you try to fight him without this, then you get the bad ending. Um, because there's no way to, like, require the defense upgrade, but because there was a boss flag, it might, like, change the outcome of the cutscene or something. So, this was probably something I was supposed to get a hint towards later and come back, is my guess. Um, but, anyway, aside from that, I wanted to check, uh, what items I was missing, because I couldn't remember. I just kind of looked through the list of items, and, uh... It's, I knew one of them was, you know, I need the mirror shield, obviously. Um, there's the boots, which break a lot of stuff, so I don't know if I'm going to get those, but they do have a custom tile, so they're very likely somewhere in the game. Uh, there's also the magic key, which I just tend to forget about, so that's probably somewhere. And all three of the goddess spells do also have a tile, so I might be getting all three of those. I wasn't even sure if... Uh, the other two besides Din's Fire even worked in 2.10. I couldn't remember if they were implemented or not. But we'll see eventually, I guess. Um, one last thing I wanted to do before I go back to the game is I'm just kind of curious now, because uh, now that I got the final ring upgrade, I'm wondering if the sword is available somewhere so I can do this and just kind of check. It says it is on map 2, screen 53. Uh, let's see, this is in some place that looks like the question mark dome from MMDWR. You know, whether or not I have access to this place, oh, judging from this, it's probably a uh, collect all the dungeon item things, so yeah, we'll see that later, I guess. Okay. Well, my curiosity has been uh, satiated, so. I guess then, um, can I warp here? Is this considered an overworld? Okay. Oh, look, it took me, like, five screens in the wrong direction. I don't know where these places are going to dump me off. Well, don't really want to be here either. Also, I'm going to um, say this now so I don't forget. Uh, because there is a free heart container in that dungeon that I, like, could go back for, the next time the game pulls this, you know, spend 999 rupees or a heart thing, I'm probably going to actually do the heart just to save myself the trouble. It's backtracking either way. I either have to grind money for fucking five hours... Actually, why am I even going through this place? Let me just keep walking. I have to grind a ton of money, or I have to go back to that dungeon and do all that shit. Neither is ideal, but it's there. I might as well use it. Okay, this, put, put the pants on. Put, put, put the pants on. No, this is a one way. Is there a convenient warp? One of these takes me in front of the, like, Kakariko, right? Come on, how is... I I've been facing right every time, it should be. Okay, this is acceptable. Um, yeah. So, as for other stuff that the gold arrows can do, um, I know that there's, like, the chapel or something kind of at the top of the overworld. I can't remember if I can do something with the big castle to the right. Um, I remember way earlier in the game there was, like, a little glimmering, like, a sparkle on it, but I think that was before the world got fucked, and I don't think there's anything like that anymore, but I'm gonna check. And, uh... 
Boy, do I not remember if there was anything other than that. If there was, I, uh, you know, there's a decent chance I even mentioned it in a previous video, and it's just, you know, been so long that I don't remember it, so... If you can think of anything, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments. But, uh, let me just check this area real quick. No indication that I would have to do anything with that, but couldn't hurt to try. Okay, there's a little broken window. It's probably nothing. Having this, uh, incredibly busted armor is gonna be- oh, that messed up the rupee palette, what the hell. Gonna be very nice, I can tank hits from most things now. Okay, that is a dense fire requirement, and it sure does make the back of the statue turn black. Or at least that's what the secret layering would lead me to believe. But yeah, this, uh, this new yellow C-Set 6 is, uh, I think it's making a few things look weird. To pay more attention when I get rupees and stuff. So this thing up here, I think we determined I need mirror shield to do something with this because I tried to like reflect fireballs with the fire boomerang and it didn't work. Is that correct? Just hit this. And... Yeah, it doesn't really work. Um, the other thing that I need to interact with should be up here though. You know, if there wasn't a fucking bush in the way. Oh my god. Oh, this overworld. Oh my god. <laughs> Make it end. I don't know where all the shortcuts are. There's so many random little warps everywhere that I just can't keep track of. Uh, I'll see you there in a minute. You don't need to watch me go all the way back. Well, here we are. Um, you know, I don't remember... If we were given explicit instruction to come back here, or if I just happened to remember it from looking at the, uh, you know, lens of truth here, but you gotta shoot this tiny little blue dot on the wall to open the door. What do we got? Give me the fish. Well, that's, uh... For the first time ever in this game, I think that's actually going to be a problem. Cool. I need to go find some then. Which probably means going back to the town to buy some. Um. Uh. <laughs> Alright. It's okay. We have technology. Where can I get bait? Plenty of locations. Um, house interior sounds like a decent option. Um, or minish cap houses, maybe. Various shops. Shop zero at 50 rupees. Is that accessible? Map one, screen 70. Uh, no, this is the world before it got fucked. Okay, so we can't do that one. You better believe I'm going to go through all this on screen. Um, okay, house interiors, shop two at 100 rupees, 172. This one is possibly also in the old, yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, <laughs> dungeon, that's apparently a shop. I don't know if I want to look at a fucking dungeon. Let me even see what that is. Um, map 2, screen 4. No, this is also old stuff. Caves, map 12, screen 60. This one, maybe... No, this is still... Goddamn. 
This one should be available, right? Yes. Okay. I can live with this. You know, you might you might say that uh, I could have just gone to the town and checked the shops and, you know, done that without having to fucking look through all the crap in the editor, but uh, that was more fun. Fun, in quotes. So let's, you know, slowly meander my way back. Could probably, uh... Well, I was gonna say I could all probably stand to restock my super bombs, too, but... I don't need to do that. I've got eight. My stupid insistence on always having the maximum amount is, uh... Never going to actually help me anyway. Dino my band <laughs> Why? <laughs> what does this work do? More shit. Anyway. Time to go back yet again. Um I'm trying to think what this uh area could be based off of my, you know incredibly lacking, like, basically just, you know, my lack of understanding of the game. Yeah, the rupees flash yellow now, they look weird. Um, because, again, the game has probably outright said, at some point, maybe even recently, but, uh, I feel like I've kind of followed what was going on in this game for a while and then just kind of gave up and... I hate that. I wish I wasn't constantly oblivious, but what can you do? Because this used to be where the Master Sword was, or whatever it was that they called it. I don't know if it was actually the Master Sword. It was like, you know, the way out of the old world or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. What is... Okay. Yeah, yeah, Kern. Yeah, Kern. Ah! This place is very loud. Well, let me uh, immediately turn this down a little bit. The, so the song sounds like it could be fairly bopping, but it was a little on the loud side. Oh my god. Oh, it's still really fucking loud. Holy shit. Um, that maybe is okay. It still seems really loud, but I turned it down to like half of what it was before. What the hell? Okay, this oil just kind of slides you around wherever it wants. That's unique. Um... Let's take a look at this place. Process floor. Alright. I have now taken a look at this place. Uh, right looks like it might dead end. Let's check that way first. See, I wasn't sure if we were going to get immediately thrust into a new dungeon, or... If there was... God, this song is loud. Yeah, the, the, like, the sound effects are massively drowned out by it. So she needs to listen nature with new inventions and sheer philosophies. Okay. Thank you for the definition. I, I think I knew what construction meant. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, the game for a while now has just basically been run from one dungeon to the next with uh, very little in between. I guess that's not true with the uh, fucking... Lost Woods section where, you know, I had to go find myself and find my house. Um, I don't know, I always feel like there should be more overworld between dungeons, but we're somewhat coming up on the end, hopefully, so I won't make it drag its feet any longer than it has to. 
I cannot believe how loud this fucking song is. Like, I don't know if it's that bad in the recording. That's the problem. It's like, you know, I... the hell is this layer? Um, like, I did an audio test beforehand, and it seemed fine. And, uh, then I entered this place, and I felt like my eardrums exploded. Again, I'm kind of digging this song. I don't know what it is, but... Could have stood to probably be a little quieter. Oh, what the hell? Uh, did that do anything? You, uh, boss flag door? No. Wait, what? Oh, that's a reflect. Okay. Alright, well, there's uh, all the confirmation I need that we're going to be getting the mirror shield here. About frickin' time. Uh, I don't know how far we're getting into this place, because I, uh, you know, entered this dungeon pretty late into the video. But I'll give it a bit. Oh my god. It's nice to see that, you know, the enemy spam is, uh, as spammy as ever. I almost wish I did have another thing to go, uh, check in the overworld before I did this, just to get the pacing a little better, because... <sighs> Alright, I- here's a, here's a thing I need to keep in mind. If I'm getting the mirror shield in this dungeon, like likes will cease to be a problem after that because they don't have a chance of stealing my shield. I kind of still hate them now because I'd like to be able to block stuff if I can, but with the defense upgrade, I don't know if it's the biggest deal, especially since this thing doesn't block half the crap anyway, like the fireballs from this thing. I think I've, uh, I think I've already run out of things to say that aren't just, you know, me reacting to what's in front of me, unfortunately. Also, uh, unless my, you know, memory of two seconds ago is failing me, which it very well could be. There was a key that I got from killing all the enemies on one of those earlier screens, wasn't there? So, the game is, uh, you know, actively trying to, uh, maintain my obsession with killing every enemy on every screen, which is the last thing we need to try to make steady, fast progress here. Especially when you've got fucking Patra 3s everywhere. God, game. I'm just... You don't need to have this many enemies everywhere. It's... I don't understand why people do that. Like, you gotta have stuff on the screens just to keep them, you know, have something to do, but... A fucking high-level boss enemy, and... I don't even know what you'd call the Super Dark Nut. Like, you don't need to throw these everywhere. It's... you, you can... You, you can stick to some simpler stuff, you know. Maybe instead of three Super Dark Nuts and three Dig Dogger Kids. Maybe one Super Dark Nut or two blue ones. If, if you want to keep the Dig Dogger Kids, you know, whatever. I can melt through them with the um, gold arrows, I guess. It's just... I guess that's part of the problem, is there's such a power creep with the items in these games. Like, you get really fucking overpowered. Um, which is probably why you shouldn't give the player the, uh, higher sword and ring and arrow upgrades until, like, the very end of the game, because otherwise you're just either gonna melt through everything or you're gonna have to justify the items by putting bullshit on every single screen. It's a little tedious. 
Like, I'm look, it, it, look at my health. I'm barely even losing health from this stuff, but it's taking a full minute to clear it out. And I gotta do it, because I got a key once, so... Like, really? Two of these fuckers? This is just, you know, mash A. Hope that they die before I do. There's no strategy. If we go back to the, uh, the meme about, oh man, BA3 is, like, oh, uh -huh, the only thing he's gonna do is put Patcher 3 everywhere. <laughs> like, I wouldn't do that. But if I did, people would have every right to hate the quest. <laughs> you know, I, I won't even say that I'm completely guilt-free here, because, like, I did some stupid shit with... Especially Mitch. Mitch was enemy spam the quest. Like, towards the end, it got really stupid. But also, that was in... Yep, there's a K. Um, that was in a version where there were no Super Dark Nuts. There was no Patch or 3. There was no Manhandle 2. There was no Goma 3 or 4. The Fire Breathing Gleok variant. Like, I threw bullshit at you that was... Uh, unreasonable, but at least it was, like, on the lower end of unreasonable, I guess. I don't know, I'm not trying to justify it. Mitch was, uh, a little bad about that. Uh, anyway, I guess that's, that rant can be over. After this game, I'm probably going to need a big breather from Zelda Classic Quests, but uh, the next time I eventually do one, I'll have to find one that is not so insane with the combat. Okay, is this stuff respawning, or have I not done that screen yet? No, I think that's stuff respawning. I very much hope it is, at least. Yeah, I've definitely cleared all those screens. Well, I got two keys. Um... I haven't seen a place to use them yet, but the map is quite big. I'm sure the places exist. Real quick, because I'm curious. Down here. Side warp into D map 109. Traps. I like Grunty's Furnace Fun. Okay, this song is just called Traps. Um, is there any info I can get on this? So either it's custom or the person who made the mini did not, uh, oh, you weren't even seeing Zelda Classic there, my bad. Um, yeah, either it's custom or the person who made the mini didn't uh, bother labeling it in the info. Alright, what have we got going on here? Maybe I'd drop into that from above or something then? I don't know. It's kind of looking like that might be the case. Oh, is this text I haven't read yet? No, we have seen this one. So, did I pass by that little block puzzle thing before and just not address it? That's weird of me. Oh, um, man, okay, I guess if you'd say so. The fuck did that do? It just... okay. <laughs> sure.
I have no idea when I'm going to be stopping. I feel like I'll know it when I see it, but, uh... Yeah, we're just going to stick with this for, I don't know, ten more minutes, maybe. Or until something notable happens. Okay, that's one way. I hope I'm not supposed to be, uh, gleaning any information from, like, environmental storytelling here, because this place is interesting looking, but I'm not quite, you know, understanding what all the shit is supposed to be. Pfft, it's fucking oil slick. Also, I like how it was shaped like the letter P. If only I had a period after it, then it would have been extra funny. Or if it was, uh, you know, a hundred years ago, then, uh, it could have been a comma. They were considered comedic gold at the time. Just a heal. Nice. Okay, this has been a long linear path so far, and uh, I said it as soon as we reached a fork on the road, so let me deal with the local menagerie and uh, let's take a look at the map and see what I want to do. I like that pipe just emitting a bunch of bullshit over to the top right there. Got more of these weird floating whatever the hells. Um... Oh, okay, yeah. No good, it's full of steam. Let's see. Left, looks like it probably dead ends. Ah, well it does something. Is this... What the hell is this? I really don't want to have this Medusa head actually take effect. I don't know if that's a item removing one or a sword removing one, but, uh, you know, preferably neither. I just, I need to deal with the local menagerie again to, uh, get my bearings and look at the screen properly. Can you please stop? Thank you. Um, doesn't look like anything's hookshotable. Yeah, this is probably just a preview of things to come. I don't think I can do anything here yet. I'll try hook shotting, but I doubt it's gonna do anything. I don't know if I've seen any uh like fairies, the like good bubbles around, so I really don't wanna get hit by this and regret it. Was hook shotable, okay. Glad I tried. Bruh. Well, I say I'm glad I tried, because, you know, I now know something, but, uh, I was kind of hoping this was actually a dead end, just for the sake of limiting my options at the moment. Um, I'm gonna check the top, because, once again, it looks like a dead end. I know I'm gonna have to go through that, but let's see why first. Oh, snake. a button. Okay. Pretty much what I was expecting. I'll see what's through this door and maybe call the segment there. A little earlier than I said I would, but we'll see. I'm just looking for, you know, something even remotely resembling a reasonable stopping point. Oh, what the fuck? Game. You son of a bitch. What? It's a hammer switch? Are you shitting me? <laughs> okay, I hope my thought process there, you know, made sense. 
I step on the button, nothing happens. Oh, I can move this block? You son of a bitch, I was supposed to push the block in. Oh, no, I'm not. I was supposed to just hit the hammer? Okay, cool. I'm glad that I could fucking push the block then. <sighs> I can't tell if that was a troll or if that was just me misinterpreting the puzzle. I feel like that was a troll. no way this is going to be the boss key or, like, the dungeon item this early, so what is this? This Toad's Rec Room is what it is. Game. <laughs> okay, we're looking in Z-Quest. I don't want to go through there again. Uh, all right, what was this? There is no tile warp. That's an enemy placement. These are all just changing under combos. Get rid of the ceiling layer, and get rid of this layer for that matter. Uh, one thirty-two. Slash continuous. What? Oh, wait, no. That's... Okay, no, that's fine. So, yeah, these are all slash and they drop an item. This one is slash and it doesn't drop an item. I don't know why it says continuous. Um. Like, what the hell is that? Hold on. Let's... I'm not familiar, like, this is a different naming scheme than the combo types I'm used to, so I don't know what that translates to in 192 terms, but whatever. I was worried I had to slash that multiple times. Maybe I still did. What's, what was flag 19? 16, 17, 18, 19, does this have a layer on it? No. That's just a normal ass, okay. Where the hell is the tile warp? Don't tell me... One of these. I don't know how I would tell. This better not have been a fucking tile warp and I somehow missed it. It, it claims there's a tile warp on this screen. Apparently it was the compass. Let's look at it again. You know, compass isn't the most important thing, but it will tell me where all the keys are and stuff. I kind of want that. Of course, the door is rude and closes after you uh, exit, because this is a tiered secret, so... What? Oh, it keeps the first step, right? Okay. Fuck you. You know, I even noted that that one was different from the rest, and I was expecting it to drop something, and it didn't. I didn't think to, like... I guess I just, you know, probably went, like, between tiles and missed it somehow. That's annoying. Oh, hey, look, I got the compass again. Wow. So. Seven keys. Fuck me. All right. It's looking like the bottom left also dead ends. Since I'm on this side here, like, that I had to hookshot across the weird gear shit, let me, uh, see if I can clear this area out and then maybe we'll call it there. Is that, like, a whole actual proper walkable platform down there? I can't always tell. Yeah, I'll check that in a minute. Okay, well, we found the fairies. You go one way? No. I'm worried that this will be a one way, but... Ugh. <laughs> nice flashing. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Can I figure this out without the lens? Fuck it, what do I do? Oh, of course, blow up the floor. I mean, it was, there was an exposed thing there, I guess, but... Why did the song suddenly become a Mario Paint dick speed song using the, like, Mario instrument? I know that's very specific, but it sounded like the exact same instrument. Um, uh, is this block gonna disappear after I kill all these? Is it really gonna make me fight them from this corner? Like, you know, it's not the most unreasonable thing out there, but it's kind of stupid. No, that's not it. There's apparently a secret on the screen somewhere, then. How do I... Eh. At least now I know I can get my, um... sword back if I bump one of the stupid Medusa heads, but... Yeah, magic. Mm. Wait. Okay. Didn't expect to be able to cross that gap. But, sure. I, I would prefer for you to not be here, honestly. Can I get you to spawn in the corner? No? Okay, that's excellent. Uh, is there a secret up here? Oh my god. Am I just stuck? No. It's music. <laughs> oh, I see something. Okay, I gotta... Yep, you see on the right, one of those little wall panels is very slightly broken. Gotta shoot that one. Yeah, I can clearly see that I was uh, meant to notice that. I complain, and yet, you know, I can just use the lens, so it's not really an issue, but still. But... <laughs> okay. There's some uh, real good ladder shenanigans going on here. I keep getting worried I'm going to get stuck between two screens. Yes, thank you. Really, bubbles are just an ass move. Like, they're just irritating to deal with. Okay, I think we're good here. Please, please, please. Please fuck off. Okay. this for nothing. Oh, on the left? Or is that just... Okay. What was the point of that, then? Let me make sure there was nothing there. Uh, it's kind of looking like that was it. Just a key and some stuff to dick around with that doesn't actually help you in any way. Okay. Well... Was that, uh, I think that was this whole side of the dungeon then, so. Stupid place to end, but it's the best I've got. We'll check more of that next time then. On, you know, Burt V Part 2. We have the, uh, we have the red Burt V, and now we have the gold Burt V. Yeah, edge.